Hey everybody, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, so what are we going to do today? I received a question to model an office chair. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right, now we're going to start with the, the base to, uh, you know, where the wheels are going underneath. So it probably has a, a fancy name for it, but I wouldn't know what that would be. Anyway, we're going to start with a uh, polygon cylinder. We're going to give that a little height like so we're going to hit control a for our attribute editor and we're going to set the translated values to zero to get it nice and centered and then we're going to go into polish cylinder one and we're going to move this into uh, 10 subdivisions like so all right then we're going to go in we're going to right click go to face and we're going to select the face skip one select one and so forth all right like that then we're going to go up to edit mesh we're going to go to extrude and then we're going to tweak the thickness so let's pull that out quite a bit and that would probably be right yeah something like that and then we're going to go to object mode and we're going to hit r uh, let's scale that up somewhat. Okay, so that'll be our base. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to go to edge, and we're going to start to take these edges, and only these edges. That one as well, just make sure I don't have anything selected that I don't want to select. Okay, and just hit 4 for wireframe mode to check that. So we got that. We're going to go to, um, let's see, edit mesh and bevel, like that. And we're going to give this a go on smooth and see how that works. So select it, hit three. Okay, and you can see that we need to add some subdivision there. Okay, so we're going to go to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, sorry, mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box. Make sure you just have a uh, single setting going on there. And we're going to go in and we're going to start to add edges close to the end. That's two. That's three. Four. And there we go. Okay. We're going to right click the object mode. We're going to hit three again. That already looks much better. Okay. And then we're going to go in. We're going to hit one. We're going to right click on the face. And we're going to select these faces. We're going to go to edit mesh and extrude under face. We're going to tweak the thickness a little bit. And we're going to tweak the offset like so. And then we're going to hit G to repeat, W to pull up, and R to scale in like so. And then G to repeat and W to pull up. Okay. Right click object mode, hit 3 to smooth out, which will give us this. And that looks uh, kind of funky so that's cool okay we're gonna want to go back we're gonna go to mesh tools engine edge loop tool and we're just gonna add some edges in these areas right here Q on your keyboard right click object mode and hit three to smooth okay there we go now next part is we are going to deal with our wheels okay so first we're going to take just a simple polygon cylinder and we're going to set this up for one leg of our chair and once we have that done we're going to duplicate that to the rest next we're going to take a polygon pipe and give that some height we're going to hit e and rotate that over to 90 degrees 
we're going to go into the attribute editor and we're going to give that some subdivision in height not too much let's do three and let's tweak the thickness a bit we'll do 0 0.25 okay looks like okay that's fine then we're going to go in to this view select it here I'll just hit W and pull it over so we can see it better. Once again, I have to zoom in, right click vertex, drag select these, and hit R and just pull them up like so. Okay, cool. And then we're going to take a polygon sphere and we're going to fit that in there. So let's just bring that in. I had four for wireframe mode. So you can see what's going on. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that up a bit. And that should be pretty close to where we need to be. We're going to bring that in. Like so. We're going to hit this guy. And hit three to smooth it out. It looks like we need to do a little bit more positioning. And we'll just check that from this view. It needs to come down just a little. Okay. So we've got that. We're going to take this. We're going to go to our top view. And let's move that towards the top of our wheel. F to zoom in. Four for wireframe mode. And let's just snap that to the center by holding down V and dragging it. And then I'm going to bring that up. To zoom in. Let's hit R and stretch that out a bit. Not too bad. I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to go to Mesh and Combine. And I want this smooth, so I'm going to hit 3. And this means that I have to tweak the guy on top here. So we're going to go back to insert edge loop. Let's bring one up there. Q on our keyboard. Right click object mode. And three to smooth. Okay. Let's start to position that under one of the legs. So we're going to go to modify center pivot. We're going to move that over. F to zoom in. And let's see if we can get this thing positioned correctly. Also from a height point of view and from a size point of view. Okay. F to zoom in. And what we'll do for now, just to keep things clear, select everything and hit 1. So we're not going to smooth that out just yet. It looks a bit big, so let's oops, let's hit R and scale that down a bit. That looks a bit better. And we'll bring that up to right there. Okay. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to bring that over. F to zoom in. And just to make sure that these are positioned okay. So that one needs to move, obviously. So from the top view, we'll do one there. I'll bring that one in. All right. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. After zoom in, we'll do one right there. Control D to duplicate. Bring it over here. And we'll 
Take this one. Control D. And move that over there. And just position that. Okay. So now we have the base for our chair. We're going to create a polygon pipe, actually. There we go. Let's bring that up. And from our top view, we're going to hit W. We're going to move that over. We have to zoom in. And let's just snap that to the center. Hold down V once again. Scale that up a little bit. And from this view, we have to zoom in. Just trying to see if it's centered out. And it looks like it is. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe a bit too high. So we're going to take these top vertices, right click vertex, and bring that down like so. And then next we're going to take a polygon cylinder, pull that up, and again from our top view, I have to zoom in, V to snap it, and there we go, and R to scale it in so it fits inside our pipe. And then we're going to check it from this angle and we're going to pull that up. I have to zoom in. And that is actually allowed to be inside of that pipe. And we'll right click and go to vertex, take the top vertices, and just bring that up slightly. Okay. So that is what we have so far. Let's just do a smooth check on, and actually we can group these. Control G to group, three to smooth out, like so. Okay. Then we're going to create a uh, top plate, if you will, for the uh, bottom of our seat. Just a little bit of thickness there. And we're going to hit W. We're going to move that towards our center here. We have to zoom in. And V to snap it to the center. And then we can actually just scale that down a bit. It doesn't have to be that large. And then from our height point of view, we can bring that up. I have to zoom in. And we're going to right click our vertex. Take the top vertices and bring that down and make that nice and thin. Okay. So we got that. Now let's just start to work on our seat sections. Now before we do that, there's going to be a bar for the, uh, the backrest, if you will. So we're going to create that first. It's going to go from here and up. And we're going to have two um, sections on the side for the uh, armrests. Okay. But let's start with the backrest. Um, we will, uh, let's see, what's the easiest way to do that? We'll take polygon pipe. We'll pull that up. We're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that to minus 90 degrees. We're going to go to our poly pipe. Let's give that a thickness of two. And then we're going to look at it from this angle right here, right click face. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take off a quarter of this, um, actually a bit more. And this as well, we're just going to need this part, okay, 
And then what we'll do is we'll go in here, we'll right click edge, double click on that top edge, and we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that straight up. And then we're going to move in, right click edge right here, and we're going to do the same. So we're going to hit W, we're going to pull that out. Then we're going to scale the whole thing to proportion. So right click object mode. Scale it down quite a bit. We're going to look at it from this view. We're going to W and we're going to start to move that towards our chair here. And this is always tricky because we need to figure out how far we need to go. Proportionately speaking. Uh, it looks like this is sticking out too far to the back. So we're just going to bring that in. Maybe a bit back. Okay, which means that we're going to right click the refer text. We're going to take these. Let's bring that back here. And then height wise, the backrest is going to stick up a bit more than this. So that's not too bad. And then from this view, we're going to right click in the object mode. And let's bring that in. And make sure it is centered. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to push that in to make that a bit thinner. Okay. Now, I want that to be smooth as well. So for that, we're going to need to add some edge loops. First, I'm going to close up this hole here. Double click on that. Mesh. Uh, where do you go? I thought it wasn't here. Just give me one sec on that, guys. I'm looking for the fill hole option. I think it's here. Let's okay, it's on our mesh and fill hole. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing down here. Right click edge, double click, and hit G. Okay. Then we're going to go to mesh tools, enter the edge loop tool. We're going to bring one up here. And one down there. And then just to hold this shape, we're going to do one here and one there. Q on your keyboard, right click object mode, and hit 3 to smooth. Alright, not bad. Okay, now let's deal with our seat. So for that, we'll take another polygon cube, give that some height. On the top view, hit W, I'm going to bring that in, F to zoom in, and V to snap it to our center. Now we can start to scale it, so let's scale that back a bit. Let's just check it from this view here, hit W to pull that up. And that looks pretty close to where it needs to be. So let's just uh, bring that down a little bit. From the front it seems to look okay. And now we can start to tweak it. Let's see if the width's okay. Yeah, okay. Right, so we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool. We're going to add an edge right there. And then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool Option Box Multiple, and we'll do two. And then we're going to Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click on the face. We're going to select just that face in the middle there, edit mesh, extrude, pull out some thickness, not too much, that looks about right, 
I'm going to do a test smooth. So right click object mode, hit three. Okay, as you can see, that's two rounds. So we want to go back. And we're going to go into mesh tools, and as we tool, option box, multiple, or still on two. There we go. Hit R to pull them out, but not too close to the end. All right. Mesh tools. We'll do that again from this end. And again, hit R and pull them out until these are pretty much equal squares at the end. Okay. Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, and hit 3 to smooth out. As far as the seat is concerned, that's not too bad. It is pretty square, so we'll tweak that a little bit just so it doesn't look too boring. Uh, let's just check here is our uh, backrest. Okay. So typically you want the front of the seat to be a bit wider. So we're going to take these vertices. We're going to hit B on our keyboard. Hold down B and left click and drag. And then we're going to hit R. And we're going to start to pull that out like so. And then we're going to select these vertices. And pull it out like so. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's a bit better. All right. Now we're going to have a um, a backrest, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click the object mode. We're going to hit B to get rid of our soft select. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. E to flip over. And make sure that's exactly minus 180. Then we're going to flip it back in this direction to minus 90. We're going to hit W. We're going to push it back until it's sitting in our backrest. And now we are obviously going to need to tweak the shape of this. Actually, what we'll do is we'll flip it over like so to zero degrees. We are going to tweak it a little bit. Just wondering whether that was a good choice or not. Hit Control Z and go back. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to see if we can approach it. Yeah, from this angle, that's fine. I'm going to hit one to get out of smooth mode. Mesh tools, injured edge loop tool, option box. We're going to go with three. And add them right there. And I'm going to go in, click Vertex, take all of these, and W, start to raise that up, take these, raise that up, and take this one and raise that up. And maybe you can take these two, hit R, and kind of pull them in. And then we're going to right click the object mode. We're going to hit three to smooth. That's not bad. All right. Okay. Now for our armrests. And for that, what we'll do is um, just let me think for a sec. What's the best option? Yeah, we'll do a polygon cube. I'm just going to bring that up. I'm going to raise that up to about let's do there. Just 
just eyeballing it a bit. From the top view, we're going to hit R. We're going to stretch that out. And we're going to give it some thickness. And then we're going to shape it a little bit. So what we'll do there is we'll go in, take the bottom face, out of mesh, extrude, tweak the offset, like so, and then hit W and pull that down a bit, just to give that some shape. Now we'll take this one and out of mesh. Extrude, tweak the offset, and hit W and pull it up, but slightly less. Okay. And then from the top view, let's see, this is the front of our seat. Right click at our vertex, drags like those. Hit R and pull that out. Then go to Mesh Tools, enter the Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, and we'll do uh, three. That's fine. We'll add them right there. We're going to zoom in, right click Vertex, take these. It's a little bit too much, just these. And w, pull that out. Take one in the middle and pull that out. Like so. We're going to do a try on our soft select. So object mode, I think three. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Now it's symmetrical, so that's cool, which means that that will be a bit easier for us to work with. We're going to borrow this guy. Control D to duplicate. Let's pull that out. Hit E. And rotate that to minus 90. Okay. We're going to switch to this view. And this is the guy we're working with. We're going to W. We're going to bring that pretty much to right there. Then we're going to hit W and we're going to bring that in. And we're going to have to tweak that, but that's fine. Okay. We're going to hit 1. We're going to go in here. We're going to right click our vertex, take these top vertices and bring that down to the bottom of our armrests. And then from our top view, we're going to need to bring these out a little bit. It's hard to see from this angle. So we're going to bring that back. And just make sure that it's sitting OK. So hit 4 for wireframe mode. And you can see that this needs to come up a little bit to get it level. And we're going to right click on object mode. We're going to select both of these and bring that up there. Okay. Now, this was smoothed out. This one is smoothed out. So I hit three on both. We need to add an edge loop here. Hit one to go back. Into the edge loop option box, single setting. Add one right there. Cue on your keyboard. Right click object mode. Hit three on both. And then we're going to take this and this. Control G to group. Control D to duplicate. And we are going to 
actually hit control Z because we want to mirror. Okay. So we are going to, uh, let's see, if I'm not mistaken, we need to copy it in X. Okay. So we're going to go to edit, duplicate special, option box. All right. We're going to select instance and we're going to select a negative one on X and duplicate special. So that worked. Looks like we need to reverse the normals on this guy. Normals and reverse. Not quite sure why that's happened. Interesting. These turned out fine. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to go to ungroup. Um, I don't think they were. Hmm. Interesting. Well, guys, I just uh, paused the video to figure out what's going on, and I only had to delete the history. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so this is the basic setup for our uh, chair, and what we're going to do next is we're going to apply some materials. All right, so I want my wheels to be somewhat of a black plastic, if you will. So we'll select that and we'll right click assign material. We'll do a Lambert and we'll do black. And let's see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Black Lambert. This rod right here and this plate and these guys, we're going to make chrome. Okay. So right click assign the material, my underscore X, material tab, presets, and chrome, and replace. There we go. Now I want this to be a different color plastic as well as this. And we'll choose something funky like orange. So we're going to right click assign the material. We'll do a, uh, a blend and we'll pick a color. Let's see what we got. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's all right. We're going to bring down the reflectivity a bit. It's a bit too shiny. So we're going to go into our blend material. We're going to scroll down to reflectivity and let's bring that down to 0.2. That's probably better. Then we're going to do our armrests. And for that, um, I'm going to pick up a texture file that we can use. So just uh, hang on a sec. Okay. So uh, let's see. I first need to UV this, but let's start off on our armrests. Okay. So I'm just going to hit one on all this stuff. So it's not smoothed out as yet. Okay, I'm going to take this, create UVs. We'll start off with automatic mapping. And I'm simply going to put the material on to see what the direction is and so forth. And then I can see if I have to tweak my UVs. Okay, so right click assign the material. I'll start off with a Lambert because we don't want our fabric to be shiny. I'm going to hit my checkered box here. And I'm going to select File, Folder, and on my desktop, here's my orange fabric. Okay, I'm going to hit the textured ball here, and if we move in close, you can see that it needs some work. Okay, just going to right click on Object Mode and hit 3 to smooth it out. You can see there's some stretching going on there. 
create UVs, automatic mapping, edit UVs, UV texture editor. Let's just uh, make this a bit bigger. We're gonna right click on a shell. I'll take one of these, pull that out, and I'll turn this guy off so we can see what we're doing. And let's set this up in a way that we can see this as well. Okay. So first of all, object mode. We're gonna hit one. And there we go. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to edge. We're gonna take that edge, and we're gonna move and sew. We'll take this one, move and sew. We'll connect from the back. Let's see how that works out for us. Move and sew. From the front. Move and sew. Still okay. And we'll take this. Oops, this one down here. Just that one. Okay. And then we're going to right click shell. We're going to select it. I'm going to go to polygons and layer, which fits it properly. Let's see what happens when we smooth this out. We've still got some stretching going on there. And obviously, I don't want that. So let's see what we've got. And that is not too bad, so we're going to go with this for now. And this material is my Lambert 1. And I need to delete the history here. Delete by type history, modify free transformations. There we go. We're going to take this guy and we're going to assign existing material to Lambert 1. I thought that was Lambert 1. Sorry, Lambert 3. Existing material, Lambert 3. There we go. That needs to be UV'd, as you can see. Automatic mapping, edit UVs. Okay, this doesn't look too bad at all. Alright, that works. Okay, now we can get away with not smoothing out these because they look okay, but these definitely need to be smooth. Okay, so we're going to go to object mode, we're going to hit 3, and then we're going to go to create UVs, automatic mapping, edit UVs, UV texture editor, and let's see what we've got here. Right click shell, we'll start with this guy. I'll we'll move that out, and I actually want to start with my top. It looks like that's not what I got. That's our top, as you can see. When I move my mouse over the seat, you can see this is lighting up over here. So I'm going to go to right click shell and take that one. That's the top of my seat. Okay. So I'm going to right click, go to edge, and I'm going to take this edge and start to move and sew. And do the same here. And the same here and same here. Right click shell. And let's see what we got. So we got that entire top section going on there. And then we're going to need to kind of stitch on the rest. So let's see what else. We're going to right click on the edge. Select that one. Let's see where we are so far. So that's my bottom part here. Right click shell. And w. Bring that down. And let's see how that connects up. So we're going to right click at the edge. Not there. Let's do it this way. We've got some very small sections going on there that we need to connect first. So let's do that. These little uh, ribbons up here, if you will. And that's kind of the, uh, the piping that we created. Okay, we've got some more going on. 
that probably belong to this guy. Take that one there. And this guy goes where? This guy goes, okay, that's going to be a problem. Now, we're not going to use this in the game, so we're just going to look and see if we're going to get any stretching on that, and that's highly unlikely. So I'm going to right-click, go to Shell, select all of this, and go to Layout, so it's all positioned okay. And now we're going to right-click Object Mode, assign new material, actually not new material, Existing material number three. And this looks nice. Okay. Let's do the same for the top here. Uh, first, we're going to go to assign existing material number three. We're going to go hit three on the keyboard. Go to automatic mapping. And let's see what we got. It's actually very nice. All right. Okay, so we got that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select the whole thing. Right click object mode. Hit control G to group it. We're going to set our chair on our grid line. Like that. And then we're going to start to set up some lighting. Okay, so we'll take a uh, polygon cylinder, pull that up a little bit, and what we'll do is we'll set that to 50 subdivisions and zero caps. We're going to right click on a face, we're going to select the top face and get rid of that. Make it an object mode. We're going to look at it from the top to see where that's at. And we're going to snap this to the center of our grid, or at least very close to that. Okay. Uh, while we got that selected, we're going to go to normals. We're going to reverse to get that gray going on there. And we are going to. Right click, go edge, we're going to select the top edge, hit W and bring that up. Then we're going to select this edge. And it looks like I have to do that manually. Which obviously is not ideal, but we want to have the area behind our chair leveled. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, Edit Mesh and Bevel. From our angle, that should be fine. We're going to right-click on Object Mode. We're going to look for our Bevel tab. Poly Bevel, there you go. We're going to increase the sections to 7. And we're going to increase the fraction as well. Okay. Then we're going to look for a nice angle for our render. Set up a resolution gate. That's about right. Bookmark that. View bookmark. Edit bookmark. And we'll call this new. And apply. And close. We're going to apply some material to our floor. So we're going to go to object mode, assign a material. We'll do a, um, let's do a, a blend. Okay. And we're going to make that white, like so. And let's start to create some lights here. So create light. And we'll do an area light. We're going to hit W to pull that up. And we're going to T on our keyboard. So we can aim our light. 
and hit 7 on your keyboard so you can actually see what the light is doing. Okay, so let's see. Let's increase the intensity for a sec here so we can kind of see what's going on. There's, okay, there we go. There's my light. I'm going to hit R. I'm going to scale that up. And now I can bring down my intensity to 1. Let's start to raise that up and pull that over. Put T on my keyboard so I can kind of aim that towards my object. And let's see, from this angle, I want it to aim towards my chair, obviously. Okay, we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that area light and we're going to pull it over and our T position will remain where it was so that's fine. We're going to hit Control D once again pull that to the back and pull that out like so and let's check our bookmark here we're going to need some light from the front so we're going to hit Control D once again. Yeah, I'm going to pull it over here. And this guy, I'm going to reduce the intensity a bit to 0 0.4. This guy, I'm going to leave at 1. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to go to View, Bookmark, New. There we go. And now I'm going to go into my render settings. So we're going to render a metal ray. In my comment tab, I'm going to set the size to HD 1080. In my quality tab, um, I'm going to increase that to about 1.5. In direct lighting, I'm going to use global illumination. I'm not going to use final gathering, and I'm going to leave all that as is. Um, I am going to go into my lights though, window outliner, and I want to make sure that I have ray tracing on. There we go, in my light settings. Okay, all right, that said, um, I'm going to hit pause on the video, I'm going to hit the render button, and I'll see you guys when the render is done. Okay, hang on. All right, guys, this is our render. Um, not quite there yet. We're going to do a couple of tweaks. Uh, first of all, I don't think that the fabric on the armrest looks that cool. Uh, so we're going to go with something that looks more like plastic. So we're going to right click on object mode and we're going to select these two. We're going to assign new material. We'll go with a Lambert. And we'll make that black. I think that looks a little bit more realistic. And because we now don't have that stretching problem anymore, we can hit 3 to smooth that out. So that should look OK. And we can do a quick re-render just to check. So hang on. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so I decided to switch to a blend instead of a Lambert on the armrest just to give it some reflection. So this is not too bad. Um, we do need to add a few elements to the chair. Reason being that I want to do a follow-up video on how to rig this chair. Okay, and when you rig it, you need to make sure that you have handles in place and so forth that will make it feasible that you can actually move them. Okay, so we're going to create a knob on the back here for the seat. We're going to create a knob down here to uh, adjust the height of the chair, or we're going to create a kind of a lever, or you know, to have the seat go up and down. All right. So let's start with that knob on the back. Uh, we'll take a polygon cylinder like so. Let's do eight subdivisions. 
that should be about enough and then we're going to go in right click face and we're going to select one skip one like so we're going to go to edit mesh extrude we're going to tweak the thickness like that and then we're going to go in to insert edge loop option box single setting and we'll add one up there and one down there and then we're going to right click our object mode and hit three to smooth that out like so let's apply a material to it and actually we'll use the material that we have on the armrest which is blend three so assign the existing material blend three there we go we're going to hit e we're going to rotate it to 90 degrees obviously we're going to scale it down quite a lot so we're going to hit r to scale it from our top view and we'll just uh, close this so we can see what we're doing. We're going to hit W. We're going to move it over here. Have to zoom in. Let's get uh, centered. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down some more. Hit W and move that in. And let's see what we got. That needs to come up. Have to zoom in. Okay, and we're gonna need a little chrome bar or something like that to hold it in place. So we're gonna do a little cylinder. Let's pull that up, pull that in, hit E to rotate that forward to minus 90. We'll check it from this view. And W move that up. I have to zoom in. Let's get uh, centered and scale that down and out. Right there. Like the vertex. Don't make that too long. Like so. Okay. From the top view. We're going to make sure that it's sitting where it's supposed to. Object mode, let's bring that in. Have to zoom in. And that looks alright. We're going to control G to group them together. And let's select this guy, assign new material. MIA underscore X material tab presets chrome and replace. We'll take both and we'll push that into our chair. Like so. Okay. So we've got that on the back and we're gonna need something here. We'll do the same setup with on, window outliner. Let's see where my group is at. That's group five, that's fine. We're going to control D to duplicate, pull that out, modify center pivot, hit E to rotate that. 90 degrees. Let's look at it from this view. Hit W and bring that down here. Back to zoom in. And that would be in this area right here. So that looks okay. Let's check it from this view. I have to zoom in, 
pull that out a little bit. Okay. We're going to go back to our bookmark for our final render for this video anyway. So I'm going to pause the video and see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. <clears throat> um, this uh, concludes our first video. This is our uh, render of our chair. And uh, in our next video, I'm going to deal with how to rig this chair. Okay. So thank you guys for watching so far and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.